What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Division 101 video, a series where I pick a feature in the game to talk about in detail so you can understand it a little better. Today we're going to be talking about weapon performance stats. Stats like the accuracy, stability, initial bullet stability, and horizontal stability. All of these play into how your guns perform against enemies, and weapon talents, weapons themselves, and weapon mods can all change how these stats perform a lot depending on how you load them out. And as a note, before we begin, all of the guns that are fired in these test video clips are being fired without a thumb on the right analog stick so there is no control over them to give the most accurate examples when I'm actually shooting at targets. So first let's go over stability which actually has three different factors which we'll go over individually. First stability is how easily a weapon is controlled while it's being fired and the overall muzzle climb of the gun itself. Light machine guns are prime examples of guns that need a lot of stability in order to perform well since the reticle titans when fired for extended periods of time. For example, here you can see how my pecan, with its low stability, likes to pull up dramatically when fired for a long time, as you can see in this video clip. And guns with high stability, or guns that have been modded with higher stability, are a lot easier to control when you shoot with them, like this Vector 45 ACP. As you can see, the difference is huge. So in order for guns to be more easily controlled when being fired, you want high stability with your weapons. And this even applies to marksman rifles. Here is a first wave M1A without any stability mods. And here it is with plus 63.5% stability boost in mods. So you can see how much you can change a gun's behavior with just a couple of mods thrown on it. Muzzle and underbarrel mods both have attributes that can improve your stability, and submachine guns typically have a higher stability simply because they shoot a smaller caliber bullet. There are different guns that have different stability rankings, but submachine guns typically are a lot easier to control, like I said. With this in mind, also keep an eye out for guns with the stable weapon talent because this will buff that weapon's stability by a random percentage, but most buffs that I have seen have been around around 20 to 30 percent and if you're really looking for that stable build equipping the steady hands talent will reduce your recoil by 25 percent for 10 seconds when you enter cover so you get another stability buff on top of your current weapon stats so if you're going for that precision you are definitely going to need this talent equipped next up is horizontal stability this is similar to regular stability but this affects the horizontal climb of the muzzle while firing more than the overall recoil a lot of guns in the division have some really sporadic recoil patterns and are hard to control, and this stat can help rein those guns in a little bit. A good example of this is the Liberator Assault Rifle. Here it is without any horizontal stability. And again, with plus 73.5% horizontal stability and plus 28% regular stability. So as you can see, the mods made this gun a lot more predictable and easier to control. And in order to modify the horizontal stability, you need to find underbarrel and muzzle mods just like the regular stability. The final stat associated with stability is the initial bullet stability. This affects the very first bullet leaving your gun. This stat is extremely important to consider in both light machine guns and marksman rifles both of which are notorious for their kick when you first shoot them. To give a good example of initial bullet stability, here is the Pecan LMG and a Police MK-17 Marksman rifle without any mods attached to them. And then with plus 30% and plus 30.5% initial bullet stability mods.
a lot better, right? If you're going for a marksman rifle build, you're really going to want to find mods with high initial bullet stability buffs in order to bring that recoil down and land those headshots a lot more consistently. And these buffs can be found on muzzle and underbarrel mods, much like the rest of the stability stats. And now on to accuracy, which only has two variants, unlike the stability's three. First off is simply accuracy. This affects how much your reticle spreads or expands when firing a weapon. The higher the accuracy, the less the reticle is going to expand, the more bullets you're going to hit where you're aiming. Simple, right? Here is an example of a low accuracy SMG shooting. And then again with mods buffing its accuracy by 54.5%. much more accurate. Now these mods buffed its stability some too, but if you paid attention to the reticle, you would have noticed that it barely moved with the mod buffs. And this applies to all guns, and some are more inherently accurate than others, even within its own weapon class. An ACR is going to be a lot more accurate than an AK-47 and things like that. The next and final accuracy stat is the hip fire accuracy. This affects how accurate you are blind firing from behind cover and firing from the hip, obviously. This is probably one of the least used and least useful stat out of all of them relating to weapon accuracy or stability. But if you really like blind firing from cover or your health is low and you have to blind fire, then you wanna look for underbarrel mods that will buff it. Here is a quick example of an MP7 without any hip fire bonuses. And then again with plus 28% bonuses. There are a couple weapon talents to keep an eye out for relating to accuracy as well. Accurate, which buffs your weapon's accuracy by a random percentage amount, and balanced, which increases the speed at which your weapon reaches its max accuracy. Basically, when you aim down your sight, your reticule is, is instantly contracted instead of it taking a second or two to fully contract. And there you have it, all the details that go into the stability and accuracy of the guns in the division. Hopefully this will help you learn how your guns behave and how to mod them appropriately to be the most effective shooter out there. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more of the division content, and until next time, don't trust anyone in the dark zone.